Hello and uh, welcome back. I have here uh, five uh, different power supplies, different models. They are all from uh, Monacor. Monacor didn't send them to me. I, I just needed uh, three analog power supplies because the cheaper switched uh, power supplies uh, can create distortion on your reception. So uh, I, I just wanted to see uh, which one was nice. And instead of buying three separates, one I ran into a seller who sold uh, a little bit more than three. So I uh, I bought them all. Some of them will be for sale later. But I just wanted to see what is the difference between them other than they just do a few more amps. So there's this one and this one. They look like they are in the same casing. And this one and this one as well. And uh, I just want to see what is the difference. So. Uh, we're gonna have a closer look and of course uh, I will open them so uh, let's see okay we uh, start with the first two here we have the the PS213 and the PS413 and the 213 can do 2 to 3 amps with peaks of uh, 4 and the uh, 413 can do 3 to 4 amps and a peak of uh, 6 and uh, yeah, looking at the front, uh, they uh, seem uh, very similar. So let's see if we can find a difference uh, on the other side. Well, looking at the back, the, uh, they use the same transistor, the famous uh, 2 n um, What I do see is that uh, cooling on this one is bigger because this one goes to 2 amps and here is 4 amps. So it needs to dissipate, dissipate uh, a lot more heat. Um, what I do notice, and that's on all the models, that the power cord is a proper cord. Look at this. The, it, it, it is thick, so that is uh, good. But it's also like one and a half meter, almost two meters long. And, and I like that because uh, usually they, they save money on these things with a tiny cord and uh, not too long. And uh, this is something they uh, did very well. Even if we look uh, at the side, uh, it looks uh, all very similar. So uh, the difference must be inside. Now we have a look inside of the 2 amp model. And as you can see, the transformer is here 70 volts, 1 amp, 17 volts, 1 amp. And they uh, combine this. And there is even a 5 volt uh, connection, but it is uh, connected to, it's not connected. So, and here you see the little transistor that is driving the, the 3055 here in the back. And if we go to the bigger model, we can see here it is uh, 18 volts and 1.5 amp. And uh, they combine the same. The 5 volt connection is here 50 millivolts, milliamps, uh, but it's also not used. Uh, you can see in both models here, they put some uh, capacitors just to take out some of the distortion. The transistor that drives the 3055 here is a little bit bigger and they even put some extra cooling here. So, uh, main difference is bigger transformer and a bigger driver and if you look at the cooling even the cooling you see the cooling is a bit bigger it's higher and also it does it stick out more no that's the same so uh, that is the difference between these two having a look now uh, at the front of the 613 and the 813 they look to be again in the same casing they it is bigger than the 213 and the 3, uh, the 413. Um, yeah, this one can do 4 to 6 amp with a peak of 8. And this one can do 6 to 8 with a peak of 10 amp. And uh, let's have a look at the back because there you can see a difference. If you look at the back of these units, you can see that uh, the 6 amp model has two 3055s well the 8 amp model has the same but uh, the cooling here is a lot bigger uh, we can see from the top if we look here at the both of them the 8 amp model has a 
a lot more cooling. And the both of them are, are bigger than the, the 2 and the 3 amp uh, model. Uh, these two look very similar in the inside. The only thing uh, I see is that the transformer is bigger and that the cooling is uh, bigger. They both have already the bigger driver here and here. The bridge with the diodes is cooled and it's bigger but ah that's another difference here is the bridge is uncooled and here it is cooled and yeah that's about it 16 volts 2 amps 16 volts 2 amps they put it in parallel you have 4 amps and here you have 3 and 3 for 16 volts and uh, yeah that's about it and then just to see the difference with this one <laughs> and we have here the last one it's the 1213 and it can do 9 to 12 amps with peaks of 15 and as you can see it is uh, a lot uh, bigger not only in height but uh, also the cooling is a lot bigger than the other models and having a look at the back we can take out the cover and then we see this one has three 30 55s and this one is two and that one at one and uh, the other difference is the transformer because look at this and this transformer is the first time 10 amps this one that it actually is rated higher than what the power supply said because this um, is the 1213 and it's supposed to do 9 to 12 with a 15 amp peak and this transformer can do 10 and usually they would say then it's the 10 amp model instead of 9 so this one has a bigger transformer that is nice because this one has 2 and 2 is 4 amps but here they say it's the 6 to 8 amp model well here it's 10 amps and they say it's the 9 to 12 so but uh, it looks cool the big one look at that I have a little setup and uh, this is the 2 to 3 amp I put resistors and you can see the voltmeter in the back 13.8 as it should be and behind that the O1 you can see the amps so if it's rated uh, 2 2 amps and on the box it says 2 to 3 amps let's see what it does if we put the load for uh, two and a half amps and see if it how it responds and it does you can see now three and a half amp and it's 13.6 so uh, <laughs> it can actually do what it's uh, supposed to do and it uh, didn't even drop that much so now we can try to do the same on the the same on the bigger one let's see we put the same load 3.6 amps or well, it should do 4 to 6 and it's not even dropping a little bit so uh, that is good they are uh, they can do what they write it for so that's it thank you for watching uh, it was a quick one um, I'm surprised about the small one and the bigger ones of course but I, I didn't expect that uh, that this one that says on the front 2 amps on the box it says 2 to 3 with a peak of 4 and uh, we put the resistors as a load and we went up to 3.5 amp and the voltage only dropped from 3.8 to 3.6 uh, 13.6 sorry and uh, that is a very very little drop so uh, I'm, I, I'm surprised that they actually uh, do very well. So uh, they are good. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.